Yes, we are back to biking videos. So happy. Uh, we're in the one mile zone today in Pemby and we are here just to get some footage. Uh, we're gonna ride a trail called Pickle Surprise, kind of a jibby little jump flow trail, super short, but super fun. We're getting footage so you don't have to look at my mug the whole time we do an updated review on the MTX braking pads. And one thing I will say is they are no longer on my bike. Let's talk about it. As you saw in the intro, this is just a quick update on the MTX ceramic braking pads review that I did last, it was last May, the beginning of last May. So probably shot the video in April that came out in May. Uh, I'll attach a link to that up in the corner. And if you've watched it or remember, I was pretty high on their performance. They blew me away, to be honest with you. I did mention though that it was not a perfect review as I did also change my rotors as well. So that could have played a big part in that honeymoon love. But uh, at the time I was pumped on them because when they worked, they were amazing. Tons of power for big dudes like me, relatively quiet compared to my friend's brakes. Like if we were out in the wet or something, they would be pretty quiet. My friend's brakes would be howling. And that lasted for quite a while. And then as far as I can tell, once things started opening up and we started riding in some of our more regular zones and it got dusty and dry and shuttling, and that's when I started noticing some problems. So, you know, we would shuttle or, or ride up to our, our usual zone and drop into the trail and I would have zero or almost zero stopping power. I chalked it up to just being dusty and they would glaze right over. So, you know, I would sand them down, sand the rotors down, use isopropyl and did that a couple times, but I could never, it got progressively worse and I could never get them back to that initial brand new level. And it started to happen so frequently that I checked to make sure my calipers weren't peeking on them. And then I shot MTX an email to ask if I was doing something wrong or needed to do anything special to reset them and they suggested that it was my rotors and the compound of pad I'd used before but I let them know that uh, the rotors were brand new with the pads and so we figured it must be some sort of ambient contamination but they th you know they can't it's hard to diagnose over over the internet so they just told me to do the usual things there was nothing special that I needed to do so none of that was working but and the, the other thing that had me suspicious was that all the rides I was doing were regular zones that I ride all the time and I had never had these issues with other pads before. So the next few times it happens, I took it to a buddy, a mechanic, and to explain to him what was going on and, you know, was hoping that he had some sort of insight. And he had an interesting insight and his insight was, uh, Todd, don't you think that the big boys with all their R&D and the money that they put into their brakes would be using ceramic compounds if they worked for this application? It maybe he has a point. <laughs> no, I'm not sure, but uh, so and he, he couldn't he we sanded it did, tried it once didn't work brought them back And then we couldn't even get past the bedding in period and this is what they look like after that last Time I don't know if you can see that they're shiny like a mirror So we'll sand them down get them all dull get rid of that finish and then you just try and bed them in and that's what happens But if you can see there's a ton of life left right like you can see that there's tons of life left, but you know, in MTX's defense, their communication was was awesome, prompt, polite. They just they just couldn't help me. So I pulled them a while ago, and I went back to the metallic Shimano pads. I've since ridden a bunch of the shuttles and rides that messed up the MTX pads and have had zero problems. So that makes me think that it's the compound, and I just wanted to put this out there because I feel that this might not be an isolated case. You know, I've seen a couple other reviews that, it, it, there's been all sorts of amazing reviews, but I've also seen other reviews that people have had the same issues that I've had and the same concern. So I just wanted to be honest and update the other review and let you know that I've pulled the pads and I'm not putting them back in. Just too many, too many glazing issues when there shouldn't be glazing going on. So MTX was great to deal with the pads, bit of a different story. <laughs> I really wish they worked because when they worked, they were fire. That's it. Just wanted to update you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.